Alright guys, so we're here, oh, welcome to this video, this is going to be a weird video, we're here at Brownstone Dental here in Houston, Texas, um, I haven't told you guys about this, I've kind of voiced it on my Instagram stories every now and then, but I guess since we're here, you guys probably already see the title, um, today I'm going to be getting my first step of my veneer process, my teeth transformation. I'm going to be leaving the Invisalign that I was doing for about a year and a half. I sucked at it. I was really inconsistent. And today, my temps are finally in. So they're going to be installing that. And hopefully, we're going to be able to walk you guys through all this, this throughout this entire process. Um, obviously, I won't be getting my official veneers today. I'm going to have to wear my temps for about two to three weeks, I think, until my official veneers come in. But today, we'll get a good understanding of how my teeth are going to look. It's a really good dentist place. About so good. Quick plug. They just handed me some headphones. I guess so I don't hear like the shaving. I'm pretty nervous right now. I'm not gonna lie. But hopefully it goes by quick. I think they're gonna they're gonna clean my teeth first and then start the final. Just jam out. We're gonna uh, take some gauze, dry his gums up, lift the top, we'll soak for a few minutes. Do you need to charge your phone or anything? You good? No, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm sweating. Yeah. In 2010, thought I was doing something. And now I'm rapping with a crew or something. I guess the track don't really stick unless he's gluing something. And I never fit the shoe until I do or something. Yo, bracing myself like teeth, boy, it's the same. Make sure we get a bite registration too. Yeah. And uh, in the margin should be perfect, perfect, huh? Perfect for the bottle. Okay. Um, okay. 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 Those decalcification spots oh, okay. on the sure. incisal. So mark all the things on the stump shape. Okay. And then take a take a little, or I can do it. We just need to take a little smooth burr yeah. and just remove all the mm -hmm. excess from the. Uh, okay. Oh. Look at all the mirror. Mm -hmm. Okay. And those are just temporary. Mm -hmm. The permanent ones is mm -hmm. gonna look even better. Okay. Because those are like temporary materials. Mm -hmm. The cosmetic, the permanent one is gonna be the porcelain. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're done for today. Thank you. We have to sit here for a long time. <laughs> that was good. That was good. But next visit is gonna is not gonna be like that long. Okay. 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 Why are like a higher mouth and numb? Uh huh. How did Samson look? Good. You like the way they look? Yeah. 
Oh, not my mouth is just numb, I can't. Yeah, let's clean them up real good. Maybe, uh... I'm getting hurt right now. Look at the difference in the shape. It's it's a huge difference. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Dr. Cher. So check out what we did today. We did some temporary veneers on him. We prepped from K9 to K9. These are his temps. So he's gonna wear these for about two weeks while the permits are being fabricated, custom made just for him. So it's gonna look freaking lit. I can't wait. I'm really excited and we're hyped about this. All right, so. Just had the tooth installment, so just to be clear, these are just my temporaries, and these are gonna be in my mouth for about two weeks, and then I'll get my permanents, which will be a lot smaller, a lot smaller and more realistic looking. These have like a very white, pasty look to them, like a very bright white, pasty look to them, and they're more rectangle. Uh, my permanents are gonna be a lot more realistic, and like, these are gonna be a lot smaller, these are gonna be a lot smaller, and it'll just be a lot more realistic, but overall my smile appearance is just 10 times better. Um, yeah, I'm very pleased and happy with the way things go. Uh, the way things went, I mean, sorry. <laughs> uh, my, my mouth was really numb after, and I haven't really been able to talk since uh, the experience, but I think I'll get used to it. The, the difference between these and the permanents is that with the temp temporaries, there's no space between your teeth. So you can't really breathe and there's no air going through. So I talk with like a, a I can't even say the word, but I talk with a lips, lisps, lisps. I don't know, how to say, I can't say it. But um, other than that, man, I'm getting really used to the, the way it feels in my mouth. And um, one thing that I've noticed is that you have to bite with the back of your teeth and not the front, because if you bite with the front of your teeth and you yank, there's a very good chance you'll yank your teeth out as well. And you'll, you'll probably have to pay a lot of money. So. I've definitely adjusted to, to that as well. So, um, biting with my back, my back teeth, brushing very carefully, brushing three times a day, um, flossing every single day, multiple times a day. So, gotta take care of your veneers, man. It's not one of those things where you can just put mo put money into your mouth and never have to worry about it again. It's just like buying a nice car. You have to take, you spend a lot of money on a nice car. You have to spend a lot of money to keep up with it or just take good care of it so you don't spend a lot of money. But today we're gonna be heading back. So uh, let's hop into it. My city feel like primos. Every day feel like opening day. And I used to feel like B roll. Everything planned, but it ain't mine. Tony Hawk on the grind, I'ma still grind. Ay, I ain't even in my prime. Get better with age like fine wine, ayy. I'm so glad I'm about to get paid. Devil so mad that I found my way. Put my life behind these bars. I ain't locked up, but I think I'm gon' stay. I'm about to change my family tree. Can't nobody tell me what I'm gon' be. I'm so sick of living in the hood. Living in fear on this street. God give me everything I need. No more crap, I'm about to get the sweet. Real ones always show themselves, and after this show, we better go eat. Thank the Holy Trio. I feel like CEO, huh? I'm better than my dream. I don't glow, I beam. My price just been way up, but I'm free. My price just been way up, yeah, but I'm free. Thank the Holy Trio. I feel like CEO, huh? I'm better than my dream. I don't glow, I beam. My price just been way up. But I'm free, huh? My price just went way up. Yeah, but I'm free, huh? Way up. Mary James, Danny Quinn, and that's the thing she did. Up there. Aye, aye. Yeah. Aye. Thanks to Holy Trio. I feel like CEO, huh? I'm better than my dreams. I don't glow, I bring. My price just went way up. But I'm free, huh? my price just went way up, yeah, but I'm free, huh? my girl hot like Cheetos, jeans straight from Puerto Rico, ay, a homeboy just be the chemo, then Jesus still be the hero, yeah, scheme but I keep it on the D-low, my city feel like primo, every day feel like opening day, and I used to feel like B-roll, huh? Everything planned, but it ain't mine. Tony Hawk on the grind, I'ma still grind. Ay, I ain't even in my prime. Get better with age like fine wine, ayy. I'm so glad I'm about to get paid. Devil so mad that I found my way. Put my life behind these bars. I ain't locked up, but I think I'm gon' stay. I'm about to change my family tree. Can't nobody tell me what I'm gon' be. I'm so sick of living in the hood. Living in fear on this street. 
God gave me everything I need. No more crabs, I'm about to hit the street. Real ones always show themselves, and after this show, we better go eat. Thank the Holy Trio. I feel like CEO, huh? I'm better than All right, guys, so I'm gonna give you a physique update following this intense back workout. I feel really tired today. I feel like I barely slept this weekend, but here we are. I don't know how many weeks out we are because I actually just found out my show that I was supposed to compete in on July 25th it was actually pushed back to December 2nd in LA. They moved the Vegas USA's to LA. So now, it's honestly this whole weekend and last part of last week, I was just kind of like in a funk where I kind of felt like I was obviously putting all this work and effort into my prep, into my diet, my workouts for no reason because this is the second time or third time the show's been postponed or canceled on me. I know it's not all about me right now. I know there's bigger things going on in the world right now. Either way, as a competitor, uh, someone who's getting ready, the mental stress that, that prep, a diet does, the mental stress that a diet puts you through, yet alone a prep, um, can kind of fuck you up mentally uh, when things like this happen. But at the end of the, at the, end of the day, so I have my health, um, still everything's good in my life, so I'm kind of just gonna continue on with this cut just because I'm still motivated to cut. Uh, still motivated to, I guess, give you guys motivational, inspirational content to help you guys who are dieting get through their cuts and stuff like that. And um, we're gonna kind of see how far I can take this. And hopefully there's something that changes in the next couple of weeks or so. If not, I'll probably end my cut in about eight to 10 weeks and we'll see there. But I do want to be lean for the opening of Alpha Land. So we'll see. Kind of taking it week by week, day, day by day. But here is my raw physique update. As of today, May, what's today, May 4th? Uh, May 4th, yeah, yeah, yeah May, May 4th, 4th be with you. So here's my raw physique update. Flat chested, just hit a back workout. about it so right now I'm weighing around like 217 pounds uh, on an empty stomach when I wake up um, my goal is to get down to like at least 212 213 maybe even 210 if I'm feeling crazy but 212 213 and then from there I'll probably start reverse diving um, that's pretty much it all right so just wrapped up a full game of basketball and I almost lost my teeth in the same 24 hours or 48 hours that I got them installed I was going up. We were actually, it was actually a really good game. Sam just tried to throw it past the ant and it hit me square in my mouth. And for a second, I thought my tooth, like my teeth were like loose already. And uh, I was really scared. So I called the game short. But anyways, just to kind of wrap up the video. I know it was kind of a, a weird video. The, the video mainly focused on my teeth and getting that done. I promised a lot of people on Instagram that I'd upload a teeth trans transformation video. Um, walk you guys through the steps of getting veneers because I know a lot of my followers, subscribers, have thought about doing this for themselves as well. Um, so just kind of wrap up and I guess pinpoint a few few key points. Um, these are just the temporaries. 
Um, these are gonna be in my mouth until May 11th. I get the permanents in. I'm gonna videotape that as well. Um, I'm sure Sam has already put up a before and after of my teeth, um, just to kind of show you guys what I was dealing with before versus what I have now. Um, pretty painless, pro I know I'm gonna get a question about how painful it was or how did it feel. Um, it was a pretty painless oper operation. Um, there was a point where I did feel a little bit of sensitivity and I started freaking out a little bit. They had to give me more of like the uh, numbing medicine or numbing shots. Uh, but other than that, um, there was a part that Sam saw as well where my teeth were pretty much shaved down to like where they look like knives. Makes me cringe, but <laughs> I'm glad I never saw that. I hope you guys didn't have to see this in this video. I haven't even watched this video yet or the footage yet. And honestly, I probably won't watch the footage. So just keep that in mind. If you see it, don't show it to me. Don't send it to me. Um, I just don't want to see it. But more than likely, they're going to have to file your teeth down. Um, you're getting pre you're pretty much getting brand new teeth installed in your mouth that are completely perfect, um, perfectly shaped, all that stuff. So um, if you're if you're thinking about doing it, the price range is going to be anywhere from twelve to fifteen hundred dollars per tooth. Um, my operation was about seven thousand dollars, I think, or eight thousand um, dollars when it all said and done. So, and I think I also get a warranty on it as well. So if I chip anything within like the first two to three years, um, I'll be good to go back and replace it and anything like that. But um, I just wanted to give you guys a good feel, uh, a good review. Bye. See you later. I just wanted to give you guys a good uh, review on how that experience, 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 experience went. I can't talk yet. And uh, that's it. All right. So I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one.